Hi guys, Mark Savage here and welcome to my shed. Really short video today, I've just done a video on this Lex Moto and I mentioned about the Speedo Drive. Now, if it's a speed fight, guarantee it's going to be the cable. I've done videos on how to change them. But for the Chinese ones, it can be either. So check before you buy. I already checked the cable on this one by undoing a little bit, I'll show you now. And here guys is the bottom of the cable. Just simply turn it round and if you see the clock moving round here when you spin it you know the cable's working but as I guessed speedo drive these have a very flimsy piece of metal inside that's got the two teeth that I explained about in the other video guys can you see in there flimsy they bend out or buckle over I I've just bent these two bits round. Here. They're not that weak. I'm more than happy that I've sorted out this problem. So, clean it with a rag. And I always say this, guys. Clean things. So how do I do it? Maintenance spray. Spray in there. Soak for a little while. Clean rag. And a screwdriver. Gently cover. Place in. Wipe around. Clean it completely, get every piece of old grease out of there. It's been in a while, very, very cheap, cheap grease. So I'm more than happy to say, clean it all out and use some decent grease and fill it back up with. Good old grease, doesn't cost a lot, lasts forever. Also tempt to use copper grease, which I'm actually going to use in here. Good for brakes, doesn't seize. It's used to high temperatures as well. And here we have the item again. I can pull this out slightly. I can put that in there like that and if you watch the cable now when I turn here can you see the cable turning guys? Yes you can. And there you go. This is that easy fix. It's not hard to get this off the wheel 14mm, drop half the wheel comes out in your hand. You don't need to take the whole wheel off. How's that for a short easy way of getting your speeder working again? Okay and does 30 of mile an hour anyway but it's nice to know you're doing 31 32 and maybe the 38 down a hill yay but that's what these bikes are designed if this fails again 20 pounds buy another one i'm going to grease this up make it really really feel smooth and i'm happy i'll put it all back on if it judders it will go again and then you've got to pay 20 quid but it's worth the fix just to save you the money in the first place and just shows that sometimes a very simple toolkit and this was only 14mm socket and spanner. One side, undo, drop the wheel slightly, off it comes. Guys, remember, if you do take the spindle completely out, there's a washer. Take pictures, don't lose things, don't do it on gravel or the garden, make sure you can see what you're doing, guys. Simple as that. And this job is done. And this was a defending item, so I'm going to put it back on now with a load of grease from here. <laughs> Getting good at this, aren't I? <laughs> and I'll be back on the road in no time. Simple job. Nice and easy. Like, share, subscribe. Check out the links around the outside. More than helpful advice. Some of these speed fight videos will generically help others. I had a guy ask me about a Ludix Blaster Kickstart. It's Peugeot, the inside is the same. Half cog, even the same on his Chinese models. Okay, Kickstart is a Kickstart. Variate system is a variate system and clutch. Only slight variations in what they are. Guys, like, subscribe, keep watching, I'll keep making them. Thanks a lot, guys.